as soon as the Lakers take on the Golden State Warriors. And hello, this is Broadcast Booth. And there's uh, maybe a little bit of a big baseball game taking place right now, right down the street. Literally, there's a very good reason to stay here and watch us. Because for the first time, playing together in Russell Westbrook and LeBron James. Yeah, and it's important for this region. I don't care how great of a player you are, have enough on-court, in-game situations together. Practice is one thing. Get, they both make their preseason debuts tonight. Last season, LeBron, a typical LeBron here, averaging 25 and continues to marvel in his 19th, 20th. It just doesn't matter for him. He takes such good care. And then the newly, newly acquired Russell Westbrook, look at that resume. He's got just about everything covered. He's looking for that first <laughs> NBA championship. All right, Golden State is 2-0, and and we're going to see their superstar, one of the best players on the planet. Undoubtedly, you know who he is. It's Steph Curry, who's 33 years old. Going to had an MVP-type season last year. Yeah, I mean, he is so much fun to watch. He's back to the game of basketball. His ability to either dribble or shoot the basketball are something too special. Led the league in scoring, as you mentioned last season. Averaged 32 three-point shooting that excites just about everybody in Jordan Poole. A teammate of his having a hit 30 in the first games at 17 against Denver. I mean, the guy is really playing very, very interesting this year, especially when they get Clay Thompson back in the lineup. Stick of it underway, and the Brody and the King will be on the court in the starting lineup first. Next to Chase. Come on across the bay. See what they move here. Lakers Warriors with Chase Center. So we see the games for the Warriors. Lakers still have three more. Following this, here's the starting lineup. We thought he might sit and have uh, uh, Dwight available tonight. Malik has been absolutely fantastic. Well, of course, on Russ and a moment. A lot of familiar faces for the Warriors, especially Draymond Green and Stetson Stewart's uh, just been going off here early on. From the Bruin, Kevon Looney. And what an acquisition, Otto Porter Jr. and riddled with injuries throughout his career, but off to a nice uh, let's just keep some things here. Uh, obviously, health is the number one uh, issue for team, but the game point cohesion, what I mean by that is, you know, this is the first time Russ and LeBron are together, so can't play enough together, in my estimation, but most of the work needs to be done on the defense that tries to make there. Now, defense and rebounding. All right, we're probably not going to see a deep tonight, obviously, by Trudell. Eight for it. Here comes Russ, the Brody and the King, LeBron on the court. That's right, Billy, for a moment as he is the new Laker, and doesn't he look nice there uh, in the gold of the lakes where he grew up? And Russell Westbrook has been the driver of energy throughout the preseason for the game, and LeBron, too, is always there. But with Russ, he is the ultimate floor raiser, guys, and this one the player who is going to bring it. So you've talked about this over the years when looking at Russ. His teammates respond off of that, and especially now he's been so half down to kind of pinch himself that it says Lakers across his chest. So even if it's a preseason game, it's the energy. You know that, and he's not the only one pinching themselves. Everybody that's a Lakers fan is Lakers uniforms. Everybody touching the basketball except, well, actually, everybody has his head running into the front court. DJ underneath that year 15. His top goes out the rim and Drew had nearly nine assists a game last year in his career high and the second most ever in NBA. And during last year, LeBron holds that record with over nine assists a game. But that's what you have to do. He, they, they run their offense for him. He sees the floor. He makes a lot of great passes, but you got to make him become six. The new uniform, the old number for him. His first shot of the season comes up way short. Warriors, let's, let's remind everybody, the last time we saw these two teams against each other was a pretty epic playoff type game last year where LeBron hit that shot late to seal the deal for the Lakers. That impossible shot? Uh-huh. <laughs> so even the yeah, he could see. That was quite quite a shot that he made. Yeah, Steph had, uh, Steph had a nice game. You know who really played well in that game? Uh, we have mentioned has played really well. 30 points against Portland. And in that game against Portland, their first preseason, Stu, they tried 69 <laughs> threes. 69, that's one short of the NBA record. That's what this game has become. A shooting game. So if you can't shoot the ball from the perimeter, find yourself a seat on the bench. 152 preseason games. Golden State. Malik Monk, boy, he has been sensational so far. Instant offense for the latest Warrior team. And he gets a denied at the rim. Here comes Curry. 
Step runs into traffic. But Draymond quickly gives it, gets it right back to Poole. He talks, pays for a loose basketball. Here's the one. It's a rebound tap by DJ Poole. Out of bounds to Los Angeles. Okay, look cool. Eventually. It's the highest score in the baseball game right now. Here's Westbrook. Suns by double reached 18 three times in the next 12 days. Oh, nice job by a full free throw. Yeah. Good baseline runs into baseball. Good defense by Ken Baseball. And that's a uh, little like Yeah, even though he had a, a, a good three point shooting year last year, about four three point shooter. He's a slasher defender type. We call it free and D because that's a kind of a they're over each other at J Center and the Warriors come up with it but stand up on green. I don't know where you are on the floor. Everybody tries to get behind that floor, but sometimes you put your heels on the line and you see the scramble and the Warriors come up with it and then get it right back to the Lakers. <laughs> Trendy. LeBron into the corner. Good look over to baseball. Tapped and controlled by DJ. Is it now LeBron wanders in? We got the end out. That was going straight out of bounds, but it went off the hand. Oh, yeah. This is one of the reasons why I said you cannot play together enough. The ball club, there's been, and there are quite a few newcomers on this late game. Draymond third in the defensive outstanding for player of the year. Here's one of those newcomers you were alluding to. Only three holdovers and the basket by Jordan. Again, off the dribble was the play. Not only a three-point shooter, but showed that he could create off the dribble. That's a turnover. Auto Porter Jr. Last Russell did off target. You know, I'll be here today with some turnovers. You know, the Warriors are taking timeouts and just didn't have this timeout because it's been a very slow start by each. Lakers basketball is being brought to you by Carl's Jr. and breaded chicken lineup. Try it today and by Morongo. Times. Less than 90 minutes from wherever you are. The numbers and the assist leaders over the last decade and currently on the Lakers, seven. <laughs> Pretty crazy, huh? Yeah. Quite remarkable. CP3 a couple of times and uh, James Harden. 
first week of the week back in 2017. So he's got a first spot at Warren and Long Beach. Curry, rebound taken by Baseball. It has not been a pretty first five minutes to this one. Golden State sit on two. Yeah, they're one out of eight from the field. The Lakers are sparkling. Two out of the left. Two for eleven. They've got three by long distance. It's snapped up by DJ, who has been very active. So maybe they, they've got to be able to hit the boards. And there's been a lot of worn out so far. And they're working hard on the offensive glass. <laughs> he knows that he's going to get any product of rebounding and love, so But he does that regardless. He's a guy that just brings all those things that you count on to win. A one-on-one -on -one for LeBron. Here's that step up to iron as the clock was winding down. To no avail, of course, and he was hit on the arm. Grazed the rim. Uh, other than that, we called a 24-second uh, violation. First would be the mistake. And you think we could see from up here? <laughs> I mean, three turns wide open. Gives it up to Scott on the side. But the Mexican national team. Here's Mark. And we take it by Draymond Green. That was terrible throw dollars. They hit full side of the floor. The Elites have given it up. Yet another turnover. This was the third worst game uh, in the turnover department last year. Ron Scott still has in store. So the Lakers are one for seven from downtown. We've got two minutes without a point in this game. They're over out of the yard. That's not going to count. Well, there's Dream on Green being too unselfish. He had a late pass. <laughs> So he's got to take that shot up here with him. He is wide open. Steph gives him the ball and he tries to pass him instead of taking the shot. He draws out of the bounds on the sideline because he doesn't have any accuracy. Troy comes in and caught into the game from Melo Anthony. It was a nice debut for Melo the other night, wasn't it? It's really going to be a plus for this team. He gives them somebody, especially in the half court set, the uh, mid range game. Down goes Curry, down goes Russ. Loose basketball will be picked up by the on its way, down in, we've got another three, Juan Toscano, Anderson. Stays more, we can attend the highest score in the history of the league for another weapon of Syracuse. The key of the range has been his king, although he will stretch it out. A wonderful percentage from the New York last year, down in the middle of those three, to size that one up at the angle. Our baseball are trying to get to it. It goes. So we went 438 between hoops for Golden State. And Dwight making that clean block. Draymond didn't take any of the angle away from the shot. This year, a high fly action flush. <laughs> That's the kind of result you're going to generally see. Again, rebound, run defense. That's all Dwight and DJ really have. How will be well done for the Lakers. Free throw time now for. And baseball out of a group out in a Laker game is the uh, perfect way to entertain clients. Most employee any special occasion. This Lakers.com slash tickets for more info and let the fun begin. Home Sunday night against Phoenix, the same Golden State team at Staples Center on those out the exhibition slate. Against Luke Walton, the Sacramento Kings team. They're pretty good, too. It'll be fun to watch. They can be guided to them when we see them next week. Mialita, who came before, one of the reasons why they got him, obviously. Mickey's back. That was the big cheer that you heard a few minutes ago. He is top one. He was really a star. Mialita over. Get out into the corner. Anderson trying to get it down on the rebound of Westbrook. He's a really good rebounder. You have to be when you average a triple double. Turnovers are both teams going. Just uh, showing. Let's look at Draymond. Draymond now in his 10th year, throwing into anything. And, and we see and talk to Michael all the time, and Michael says things are really going well for Tom. Just, yeah, I'm just so happy for him because uh, we're in addition to this existing team that they have because they get him back. You talk well, about spirit. I mean, they think that uh, if Clay comes back and he's 100%, they can challenge it. They think the core of the three, four more years left in them. Well, there's just under four minutes to go here in the first quarter. The Lakers up by two. In this case, LeBron went out at right around the six-minute mark.
Russ still on the floor. Because here's the thing, Bill and Sue, almost throughout LeBron's entire career, as a, a guy that's been the creator of an offense, no matter what team that he's been on, they've been establishing that production. So it'll be interesting to see Stu uh, where this progresses, but I do expect to see them staggered some, some of that load when LeBron sits. Yeah, I, and I do expect that. I mean, I expected that from the very start, that uh, in the course of the, the one or two of them would be on the floor. Working on the perimeter, it's over to Kendrick Nunn, who played the most minutes the other night. West Ball, who was three by three. So he goes to score. The Warriors came out in the zone, and the uh, Lakers passed the right to him. Bellum picked up immediately by Andre Iguodala. He's in the zone again. Russ looking to attack on Anderson, and can't throw it away. Russ two times in a row, trying to split his own. Anderson on the outside, rebound to Wayne Ellington. For beyond the arc for three seasons, played in it. Now all three games, here comes the South Park Gun. Smells out the top. Then he takes it by Golden State in the corner. From the major bench. Playing quarter number one. Not it up at nine. And the foul on the outside on the end of the uh, Hustling back in on the end four. As Mike Kido just says, to Eric Grinnell, here comes LeBron. Out goes Russ. We're looking at LeBron. Fourth oldest in the league. And the third oldest is with him on the floor right now. On a great experience. Class of 03. Big Udala. Curry not going to get that call this year, remember. Nadi will not be whistled this year by the NBA officials underneath. There's trying to get a couple. Yeah, you got deep position and uh, as good a defensive player as Udala has always been. Good much taller, stronger. Dwight Howard is good pass inside by none. Fuck to the line. Dwight Howard. All right. uh, Stu, since we saw everyone last, the word came out that Trevor Reese for at least a couple of months. How does that specifically set the Lakers back now as they get set to the opening of the season? Back per se, but it just, you know, that there was going to be some real battles for play at that position anyhow, so it's just going to maybe make it a little easier on the rotation. The same dilemma. Raise its head again. Yeah, I should say scrambling is a bit. You know, just to be able to pull that position a little bit. So we'll, we'll be a little thin there. Of course, we expect KD maybe start opening night. Uh, it's up to five. Now the two late percentage is a free throw. Reeling's on. That's what he has to do. He can really stretch. He can play quite a bit here. Anya Bielica from Serbia. Now his first side. Mellow the score. And that's where he's going to have the negative effect to the defense. Step. Like he's had a chance for the dude. LeBron down the way goes all the way. Scoop it, put in, coward. Allen. Still one of the scariest sights in the league has got to be LeBron uh, with a head of steam in the open. Uh, <laughs> Carmelo just taking the elites very easily to the rim and scoring. But then in the open court, LeBron has him backpedaling and gets the whistle in his favor and gets a three point opportunity. His first scratch in St. Mary's High School, 18th year, 17 times an All Star, four times MVP, 48 champ, and the third leading score in the history of the league. Also, eight all time assistant, LBJ. Under two minutes to go down here in the first quarter, we are live with four three meetings between this, uh, these two teams in the, the next 12 days. The back door, backhand. Three-point opportunity for Curry. Again, there's Steph Curry, known as that three points obvious, but he's playing without the basketball. He's constantly wants a lot of pressure on you. He just back cuts, goes to the rim, gets fouled by Ellington. Three left girl. Steph who was third in MVP voting last year, despite the fact that he was number one. Beat out Bradley Beal as they were neck and neck down the stretch. It was the second scoring title. And he streaks uh, during the course of the year putting up. Unbelievable numbers during those stretches. Anthony pull up jump shot just inside the three. Good offensive rebound. Put up in the second chance. I mean, they got nobody who's going to be able to handle Dwight on the glass. One is just too big and too big. So far, Weissman was hurt. He's uh, rehabbing an injury now this year, too. He missed the last 20 games. Offensive glass, nobody even close to contesting. After he got a little meniscus repair for Wiseman on his right knee. Also, Jonathan Kaminga's right to see him during the preseason. He's hurt. Looks like a lot of his picks this last year. Ron back to the basket. Taylor, working it. Step back is good. 
How many times for you is Rumble Brown? It makes it look like an easy shot, and it's not. Just oh, nothing but that. Splash for 95. Again, Carmelo was taking to the box, working him over, getting fouled, go back to the line. Talk about how LeBron makes this shot look easy. It's just not. I mean, you have a depth percentage. Difficult one to do. Remember, LeBron missed 26 of the final 30, rolled up on his ankle, and uh, very slow get back, and then very unable to get back into rhythm. And they were beaten by Phoenix in the first round of the play. I mentioned Golden State who was eventually then eliminated during the play where the actual playoffs began. Lakers have beaten this team when it counts the last couple of times. And Stu, you remember the last time that Golden State beat him? It was on MLK Day last year. Remember the Lakers just blew that second half lead and Golden State beat him? Are you, if there's time on the clock, down. There's the train coming down the track again. Behind the back to none! The ball when LeBron went to the rim initially, so he was able to pick it up and just go up by seven. Shot clock about three ahead of the game clock was one. The chase had a seven point lead for the Lakers. The Elisa looks past quickly. Another three ball on the shot clock rebound. Curry's going to get an opportunity. Got it! The quick trigger. Lakers still have time to two to a four o'clock and that's the end of the quarter. Well, after a very slow start, both teams started to get their act together a bit on the offensive end. Cut down on turn of peace and first quarter score. The Lakers lead the Warriors 25. A first quarter for Russell Westbrook, Stu. Seven. I say he's rusty with the anniversary. But it's just an inch. He's uh, with all these new guys. And they're playing against a different defense about the whole But seven, that's the thing you select. Bielic, as he goes in very deep, they knock around, Bielic and gets it back, himself in scores. And he was able to get his own miss and then put it right back up. On the floor for Lakers to start. Wayne Ellington, Kendrick Nunn, Dwight Howard, and Carmelo. Avery Bradley is a member of that 2020 championship team for Lakers, but he did not play on the bubble. Here he is with Golden State as well, Rob Greg, and then Dwight on the layup was two absolute gimmies on the break, and then the follow, and none trying to make there again to clean it up. <laughs> they have nobody. Right now, he's assigned to Dwight, he is really no match. There's the floater by Poole. Is anybody talking on that semi-high screen? For Carmelo Anthony, yet another turnover. Here we are at the other end of fouls, because they're thinking, well, why would I'm not just going to go down past that? <laughs> he's, he's literally going up for a layup against a split of defense. Why don't they cheer him? The boss is a very good offensive rebound in two lines. Pulling each off down the corner, and he looks right back with 90 feet. First minute and a half here, the second fault, and Avery Bradley got it. There's Avery. Of course, the defense and the leadership of you know, LeBron James in his stoppage as he goes to the sideline to exercise his attention to him. There's a quick timeout with the score. All these people know to move the basketball around. They've got all these perimeter shooters. They finally get it to Avery Bradley, who drains the triple and gives the Warriors a point. Guys, Steve Kerr was asked about how he thinks the Lakers will be with the addition of Russ, and, and the word that he used was power. And you can see a little bit of that, so for sure, the defender was off the ball a little bit, and then go ahead and release it. That five lead changes, nobody's playing. It's been two. And third back down now as Poole knocks it down from downtown. 31 to Mitchell. We'll throw it back a little bit. Another look at that play by Kendrick Nunn right into the body of the Lulia. Flash. right now with 12 points in the paint. Six out of third, three point percentage last year. Off target yet again, Dwight. Watts nearly had another offensive rebound because he missed him running. Graze the rim, here come the Lakers on a mini break in the attacking zone. LeBron Jr. trying to get him around the back, had his pocket picked, and LeBron still dealing with that scratch cut or whatever it is on his uh, hand, is he? 
Only been out of the game for a very brief moment or two, only about 12 minutes. Iguodala quickly into the corner. Play a step back, quick one. Tellington will go to the line and shoot three as they foul the Duke. Try to shoot and score from beyond the arc. And even Bradley rebounds and Jordan Poole on the sidelines. <laughs> Steph showing his approval. <laughs> Most 30 that Jordan Poole scored in the uh, body so far in the NBA exhibition season. Of course, minutes are down for so many players in interchange, so 30. So far, the top scoring effort. Bruce, three starters coming back. Bays Moore, DeAndre Jordan, and Russell Westbrook. He's allowed to step two points. He's made two of the three free throws that he awarded. We'll see if Russ can get on the board as he wants another on the rebound, get it knocked out, and hoping to take the charge that time was Ellington. Who he fits the foul? Probably. The deterrent, third turn, uh, excuse me, third team foul on the Lakers, two team fouls on Golders in the game. And probably guess it Steph Curry with a dozen. Who were able to good effort that time by DJ to alter the shot after the nice shovel dish by Kendrick Nunn. Again, the Lakers have just way too many right on the rim. The attacking 47 Westbrook. The trailer is done on its way. So the Lakers' woes can percent take a 27 percent now from the floor. But they're fortunate to be down 20 percent mark. And Steph's brother-in-law. He's quite thrilled to end. And Otto Boney Jr. at the other end. Now it goes! It doesn't go. And down he goes to the floor. Take a turn on the second floor of play. Six foot three to go in the first half. Back and forth with EJ now with the Lakers. And you recognize the man behind the mask. That is Derek Davis talking to Dwight during that timeout. 36 32. It's the game's winning score. There's probably no surprise there. Uh, he's shooting 50% from the field. Hasn't missed from inside the arc, so the Lakers start to heat up a bit from there. And look out. This guy can just do it all offensively. Assist to turnover ratio, I think. It's at 12 there on our monitor right now. It says 15. Not sure which one it is. 36 32. Okay, why not? 36 32. Biggest pool with Dunn right on his hip. No one's going to roll around and spill out. Rebound to DJ. He has five rebounds, four rebounds for Baysmore, three for LeBron, three for Westbrook. Kendrick Nunn trying to turn on Otto Porter Jr. Went to George Tex. Ellington. And hit the heel. Good State will bring it up. Oh, look at this move by Poole. DJ, the lob and the jam. Russ setting it up, and oh, Andre really. Looney, so some action here in the last pool who wowed the crowd just a moment ago with that move, but the Lakers came right down and slam. Oh, getting right around DJ, who recovered nicely, but yet. Another look at the Jordan Poole move. And Wayne Ellington going to range the three, but then the Lakers answered with the lob to Andre Joe Flush. Nice looking play. Dunks in defense for DJ. It's over the first couple of games. And stay connected with your team. On the official Lakers mobile app powered by Bibigo. Highlights, post game interviews, photo galleries, and more. Download to your iPhone. Or this Bibigo is the sponsor of the Lakers jersey for the next few years. 37. These teams will meet October 19th, which is opening night at Staples Center. And Feb 12th will be the other Staples date. Russ from 15. Will he get a hand on it? Here's Draymond Green. So Russ misses the target. It's so smooth. Steph Curry. Well, that's the guy you better run off the three-point line. Angles are so good. He's going to make something happen, happen on the interior. So they got Curry with 17. LeBron off the window to score. Right side, right hand. 
for the King. Team with Malik Monk. LeBron averaged 25 a game last season. He, reaching in is Malik. And Malik's going to be called for the foul. Well, the Warriors have definitely heated up on the offensive end, up to 40% now. Lakers still at mark. Monk, 233 games during the uh, course of his four. Only started once, and who knows the way he's playing. And uh, Frank and staff are thinking he could get a few starts in this year. Kentucky, the 11th pick. Do Bill, would you rather start and play 20 minutes or play a lot of minutes. minutes or come off the bench and play 30? Uh, 100%. I was about that today. That's what really matters is how many minutes you play and are you playing in crunch time? When they really more minutes, dude. What would you do? I'd rather play more minutes. Yeah, exactly. I'd rather be on the floor. Westbrook. Looming out there against forth. LeBron. Let's see what happens here. Well, he's going to try to take advantage of this. Pull in and he rattles it in. A little mid range magic for well, LeBron James. Made it tough, more difficult than having to drive and get an easy look at this. Oh, one. Draymond yeah. goes easy. Even though he's usually looking to pass, he didn't have a choice on that move to the rim. Yeah, no defense, too, either that time. Feeling himself right now, going into the dribble. Gets around Looney this time. One, two, scoop, long rebound. Russ nearly had it. I believe he was fouled. And nearly put the look out. Uh, the two Bruins. <laughs> Yeah, Russ uh, pick by Seattle back in 2008. His sophomore year, he played with Kevin Luke Bob Butte. They went 35 and 4, Stu. That was a Ben Howell. Baysmore in the corner. Ring it up for three. Another triple for Baysmore. Give the town and down for Kent. Knocked down at the other end. Oh. Well, you're saying he went down too easy. <laughs> Russ. Westbrook underneath, got it! Oh, Westbrook gets his first points. Albeit in the preseason, he's now one for five. Russell Westbrook, deep for Curry. Short picked up by the Warriors. On its way, rebound Westbrook. Again, though, giving up too many. It's uh, enough size under there to get that rebound. He's down by four. LeBron's into a triple team, so we'll see how hot baseball is. Got it again. Some fresh snow. <laughs> oh, he is. He heard you. He said, Stu, tell me again. He's more. Last year, 41% from beyond the arc. A career. Bismarck just spotting up behind the line. He gets it, and LeBron says, Rush, you give it to him. He says, I don't care who gives it to me. Jim. All right, welcome back to Golden State. Lakers trailing 50 to 49. Bunch of, th you know, monitoring social media early. How about this? So, Shondi Brown. Uh, G today. Lakers posted it. Lakers posted it. Outgrew him a little bit, didn't he? Know, right? <laughs> the way has impressed Frank Vogel. He went and talked about him. He said, hey, he's grabbing that opportunity. Just said. So, we'll see uh, how much more time he will get during the we just saw a rarity as Steph Curry misses a free three. One way to help speed up the game is uh, when he gets fouled in the act, don't just... Oh. But he missed that, and that's why they don't do that. He was 92% last year. Front court, Russell Westbrook. Of course, the trade with the Wizards. St. Kuzma and others to wide bound. Taken by Golden State. Two minutes to go here in the half. We'll be sending it to Gundo at halftime. So stick around for that. Draymond Green kick it into the corner. You know, they are absolutely cat strapped. Uh, more than anybody to be able to get a guy like Otto Porter Jr. who looks healthy and happy and contributing. Anthony corner three. Was gliding in there to try to tip it in. Curry behind his back. Here's a floater. Short got the rebound. Lead for LeBron. Couldn't really turn. Then he does. Oh, Anthony Short. And Carmelo's still looking for his first main Laker was over the other night. Oh, Draymond's got a two-man game. He doesn't make a mistake. Got Draymond and everybody else tightens up on the man. He's looking for threes in the opener. That's a little Chase Center logo. Rebound taken by the Warriors. Seven made threes against Portland. Look at this pass. Under the step. After a great... By the way, all-time step is just under 91%. In baseball, it's a two-for-one. In close, five-second differential. Lakers suddenly are down by double digits. And they've been... Uh, 
often here in the preseason. That's good ball building. Excellent ball building. Hello. Lakers with a two-on-two -two break. Now three-on-two. LeBron trying to take it all the bounds. It will go with point four remaining in the half. Time for a catch and shoot. Coming from the blind side to try to strip LeBron, and he did. So, as you mentioned, Fisher time on the clock. Point four. Take it out of bounds. Targets include Westbrook, Anthony, Monk for defense. Oh, Steve. And so does Toscano. Steve Kerr, really? For Steve. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody's in foul trouble. <laughs> Exhibition. LeBron, LeBron, LeBron. Got to get it in. Does. I'm not sure it would have counted. What a half for Steph Curry. And Jordan Pretty won. Make it 34 of the 59 that the Warriors check in with the Access Sportsnet studio. It is the Jack in the Box. 11 turnovers, and this looked like the first time uh, these players have been on the floor together. Yep. Okay. Yeah, it doesn't even look like they're coming out for ha uh, after halftime. Yeah, I looked down, down the bench. Or LeBron. Yeah, that was something that you uh, talked about to, to me right after the half that the, uh, in that first half. Curry, and there's a rebound to Jordan. So you've got Rondo, they THT. Monk's going to come up a little bit wide and short on that. The rebound. And the Lakers 0 2 in the preseason. 2 and 0 for Golden State. Jordan Poole. He continues his scoring ways here in the exhibition. Steph has, what, 20? Yeah, he's going to play. Jordan Poole's going to play. And he's a part of this regular last year. Rondo pushes that one up, and it settles in from three. He percent in the first half. And uh, Rajan has knocked that one down. As he came into the key, hustles back to retrieve. He's got nine to shoot, so plenty of way. Rebound Rondo. And we got a whistle on technical and, uh, foul on Dwight. Oh, there's Dwight. <laughs> That's a foul in game one in 12 minutes. And then got a technical foul while talking to Char. <laughs> he's got another yeah, one. He's not even in the game. He was standing up on the <laughs> sideline. <laughs> Here. <laughs> Called a bench for a reason. So the second tee is Dwight still well, uh, usually just up not with the fans. During the preseason, Dork Bull, I know he's going to play a lot. He, could be in line to start until Clay can make a whole lot of sense. Again, this is a team that drafted one. Might have been very interesting in this lineup. Followed by Monk. Two bodies on the floor there is DeAndre Jordan. And what they've decided to call. <laughs> Some retrieve that. There was a thrown shoe. It's Damian Lee, and it is. I think they did. I think they counted oh, they the basket did. and stopped play All because right. of the. I thought I'd heard the public address announcers. Again, we are high atop the sideline for the year. I don't know if they're counting it or not. They did score, so they should take it out baseline. They would take it out on the side. So they took it out baseline. They must have counted the basket. That's weird. Let's see how much more he plays here in this half. He's at it again. Came on, everybody said, Oh, yeah, he'll, he'll play. He's a great shooter, and then he did, just did not perform. Harry by the Lakers to turn it over for the 13th time. Lakers have given up 19. Malik Monk got caught in the air, he left his feet, and then had to pass it. And the distance on the pass was shot the gap, got the interception. Okay, that prior play was uh, two fouls were called on the prior play. The one that had DeAndre <laughs> laid out on the floor. Weird. Curry trying to move in for some open real estate for Stephen Curry. Oh, DJ! One hand throw it down! Almost from midcourt off the dribble, and he spots DeAndre running the floor. Just a nice heads up play, and look at this. Give the basket and one to DeAndre Jordan. Rajan, of course, who was signed to. Uh, that was a player, his basketball acumen, and one of the reasons why they brought him back. And the last rebound steals. You, you can't put up numbers if you're not playing. And he just, Curry got bumped late, but it was very late. Back it was almost, the ball was almost to the basket. So we're not even three minutes yet into this half. THT did not play in the first half if you're just joining us. Off, if you're going to make a mistake, make a mistake double teaming Steph coming over the screen. 
mean, they've, they've thrown everything. That Steph Curry just talking about make, if you're going to make that mistake. Yeah. Rajat gets that ball blocked. Though. Came all the way back to make it. Lee thought he saw baseline and said he's cut off there by Monk. Three, by the way, tonight. One for nine. Baysmore, who's going to stop him? Apparently nobody. He got a whistle, and we might get an offensive foul on Baysmore. Yeah. Because somebody finally did. The, the call. I don't like it. <laughs> Nothing they can do about it. Here comes Wayne Ellington back into the game. To the Lakers. Jordan Poole continuing his fine preseason play. He in transition attacks. It's the easy hoop, and as you mentioned, they lead by 13. Does cannot come soon enough already. And that's October 19th, opening night at Staples Center. Opening. And then throw the law. There's a foul on DeAndre, who thought he had gone straight up. Which Chase Center was shut down for a long time. They've had uh, three or four for business. You've got to be fully vaxxed to get into this place. Uh, and they were checking everyone. Now 22 points. Looking for 23 with this one. You know, speaking of uh, those who are around Golden State shooting, but he's capable of putting it on the deck and creating a shot going to the basket, too. THT's got it from the outside. Taylor Horton Tucker. So That's he is four for nine this preseason. With the score from the outside. And we know he can put it on the deck and get to the basket as the Lakers turn it over. Curry's got 22. Poole's got 23. THT going to the basket. Ultra aggressive. And another turnover for the Lakers. So LeBron is making his way back. He's our lead of the game. 74-60. Curry, one of those nights for Steph as he will say, let's get it out of the way. Here in the ball. And he steals it. Curry scores. That's what he's doing. Almost two-point land. He's one for ten from downtown. Look out, Draymond. It's coming your way. Green controls it. And again, the route is on. Third game in a row. The Oppenheimer. And believe me, the Lakers need this timeout. Just to regroup, get themselves. Uh, Jordan Poole continues his onslaught. Let's get right into it. The uh, drug in the box. Game summary. Jordan Poole. He had 30 in one game. He's got 26 in this one. Russ in the first half. Had a whole bunch of turnovers. Did have seven rebounds. Only scored two points. It will get better. And it will get better quickly. Points off the turnovers. Look at 27 to 5. Points off the turnover. Yeah, the Lakers have 18 turnovers. The Warriors don't pack the basketball. Last year, 15 and a half turnovers a game for the Lakers. Team lead. As you would say, that won't get it done. With three to shoot, they take it right away from Dwight, who's back in the game. Just left it right there. Absolutely. Right down the street. I love their Warriors. And they also. Quite a few Laker fans here as yeah. well. Yes. <laughs> and it looked real easy. You know, Jordan Poole's going to give him some outside shooting with uh, until Clay Thompson went for the home folks. Although he couldn't knock it down. A foul on Iguodala. Shot. Gibbs on number nine. Well, after making his first two free throws, right? But he was 58% from the line. He shot 23s last year. Did Dwight. Did five of them. Shot 23 pointers last year. Did not had it. Lost it. They still can't score. Right back. Langston Galloway is in the game. The veteran. There's a guy, Langston Galloway. In quarter number three. THT wants to get into the lane. Does momentarily. Now back for K. Offensive rebound. That's one thing he has done well tonight. Hit the offensive board. He can control glass if you especially when you don't have some. And right now, they have no one. He needs to. Will not do it. Yeah, we mentioned that earlier in the game. Wide open. Nobody challenged. This is seventh rebound overall tonight. Could go along with a dozen points. Reeves. Yeah, that that is. <laughs> His margin for error is not very good for a big, but basically not down two in a row. Five offensive rebounds out of the eight now that he officially has. 
Iguodala. Don't work that perimeter if it is on the other side. But the attack, get back to Iguodala. He's lost some athleticism, but none of the smart. Down for Dwight. Final minute of the third. 89-75. So the Lakers trying to get closer. THT to Dwight. Pick and roll. Just throw it up near the rim for Dwight. Did the Lakers perhaps get it to single digits before the quarter's out. They're going to get a stop here. First and foremost, and they do not. With Otto Porter. Right here in the league. Ill-timed, didn't end well. First trip, and then coming back and helping the Lakers win number 17. Go for 18 this year and try to get ahead of the dreaded seriously of twice as many. 22-11, ugly. Reeves again! Yeah, that's why they signed him to a contract. From the two-way to the regular deal. From the Lakers down 93-82. Dunn trying to get to the basket. Oh, good shot. Rupert using the basket as an ally there. And here we are, down to nine. And this is how worried Steve Brooklyn. Another look at Kendrick Dunn going in and utilizing his offhand to score easily. Dollar comes up short. Another rebound for Dwight. He's putting up good numbers here tonight. Dwight's only played 17 minutes. Rondo, a little jab step. Nobody was biting on that. Cross court to the open baseball. The rainbow. So it was a lost cause all of a sudden, but Bielitsa gets away from it. That's why Bielitsa was able to get the layup. Reeves. Rondo lob to Dwight right there. Boy, Rajon's delivered on the money a couple of times. He had good contact, eye contact with Dwight on that play. 12 4 run and a foul as Dwight tried to protect the rim. Play a minute ago where he came up and knocked down the triple off the screen by Dwight. And then Rondo just throw it up near the rim. By a wide margin, Howard is the leading scorer tonight. 18. Next highest is Bate. <laughs> Curry with 30 and Poole with 28. Yeah, on Sunday, another lob to Howard. Throw that baby down. They're starting to come out. Screen and just roll to the rim, and uh, they're finding Dwight. And Dwight is uh, finishing. Another beat to three point play. A passionate, emotional Dwight Howard into it. Okay. <laughs> he was just looking for so they rescue go, me. They go even smaller at that position. And Dwight saying, don't take me. 21 and 11 for Dwight Howard. DJ, who started when 18 12. Toscano Anderson. Bounce on top, three on the way. In there. Otto Porter. Kendrick Nunn. Perfect. Rondo with another assist. Kendrick Nunn with another triple. Nunn off the bench. 13 points. Has hit three threes. Porter Jr., boy, he lost it momentarily. Because he had contact. Yeah, <laughs> going up to get it was Bazemore. Second team foul on the Lakers. Lake Show trying to come back and get a win here in the pre -inch. And Sunday is our next telecast. It'll be the Phoenix Suns again. We'll have it for you here on Spectrum Sportsnet. Tough to play zone against a, a, a three-point shooting team. Not a three-point shooting player, but a team. All of them can drill. From the outside, Moses Moody, 14th pick in the draft. Clint. An offensive foul, yeah. yeah. That time he was pushing, shoving. Oh, he might get another technical foul if he's not careful. If he does, that's his second. Yeah, and he'd be gone. It's a, it's a delayed game instead. This close <laughs> to a possible team. This close. <laughs> Comes DeAndre. You saw Moses Moody hit that three. Again, the, the two players that...
lottery picks, they don't expect them to contribute this year. It's not like a rookie that's going to come straight in. They just want to gain experience and reps, and there's Moody again. Dre. So he's very close to a double-double himself. That's his ninth rebound, and looking for another. Oh, he tipped it up and in. Forget about the lob and a tip. Nice well play controlled. By, nice play by DeAndre. He's out of position to really flush it. So. And enough presence to kill. The veteran. Those long strides of DJ. Another long comes. Goes. DeAndre to tap it home with the left hand. Rajan has four assists. Just seems like eight. Yeah, and wearing. Most of the Lakers numbers are, are straight through, like one through 11. Only a couple underneath. THT was right there. Well, on the ground to Scott Anderson, and he's known for his hustle. It's Boston last year, and that hustle results in a three for Golden State. Under open, won't take many of them, but he takes that one and scores it. Switches it through the splash for Rajon. Under a couple ago with the Lakers, and he had a stretch where he was drilling some threes. Yeah, and then playoff Rondo was on top. Extra opportunity, they're not going to take advantage. Rajon's got the rebound. Look at him directing traffic there. Let's go, fellas. 100, they can draw ever closer. Oh, could be a turnover. They were fortunate. No. Rebound to Scano Anderson. That shot by none was rather flat. Oh, shake and bake to Scano Anderson in close quarters. Get the key. Here comes Moses Singh. And the finish by Jordan Bell. Who's trying to make this team as the master, former Oregon Duck. Boyd taking his time on the outside, but then he goes right into Boyd. Bodies it well. Just the, the change of pace, Stu. Yeah, he did the contact or the angle for the contact. Off the dribble with the one-hand scoop shot. He gets a three-point opportunity. So Lakers have pulled to within five. It could be four. With the free throw when we come back. The Warriors. And then uh, interested to see the Sacramento Kings. Uh, Luke gets another opportunity to try a long, long, long drought for the Kings. There's Baron. Mello and company. All right, so as we come back, the basket by. THT. It's 107 102. Rogers up the street, and so far not going well for the Lakers here, but that one means a little bit more than this one. Just a little. Just. And we're under the halfway mark. Glad you're with us. Working is a Chioza with the basketball. He's going to fire it up from the corner. Chioza. Fourth year in the league, played last year in Brooklyn. Signed a two-way deal. Missed some time last year with the hand. That shot here. Well, oh, Horton Tucker with authority to it. Season. That was a nice, aggressive attack. That's yeah, a second highlight jam for THT this preseason. Oh, five. It was hanging in there after being way down in this one. THT brings him within three. THT, 14 points, 15 minutes, four of eight from the floor, has made a three, also has a couple of assists, along with that highlight dunk. Chiosa gets around Rondo. 30 to 19, Lakers outscoring it. Now it's Reeves. Lakers could tie it with a three. Good anticipation by Reeves. Off the ball, he knew what was going to happen with the spin. With the left hand. And it's a one-point game. Timeout, Steve Kerr. Well, the Lakers just really put up some good resistance in the second half. THT has come to... Wow, what a nice finish as he knew defensively they were going to attack. 110-109. You know, with the Lakers down by only one, and Henry Dunn has uh, shown off a little bit for himself tonight as he's tapped. This contact concentration play that he made against a bigger defender in Looney was nice. It showed that he really creates off-court that can create their own shots off the dribble. That could be a major 
major plus. And that's what he could do a lot. 13 points in 20 minutes or so. And let's talk about this again, Sue. The competitors there right now for the Lake Show. Absolutely. They have really had put up some resistance. I mean, this game was, uh, yeah, it was. And it was uh, lackadaisical and lethargic. Not anymore. But that time, Dwight for the backhand layup. And because Dwight was anticipating a dribble handoff, and he was ready to step out, and the guy, he didn't hand it off. And that guy is Jordan Bell. Rajon, there's the fake pass, and then, and at the other end, oh, blocked by Nunn! Chased down, blocked by Kendrick Nunn. They try to find Dwight Warriors, and the Warriors now in the attacking zone. Here they go again. Galloway will bring it back out. Three on the way, rebound. Kendrick Nunn with a nice defensive nice. play. Exactly, never giving up. Morton Tucker, that's a good feed. Oh, Dwight missed it! Awesome. And it was a nightmare. Wow, did Instead, he, did he drop his head on that dunk attempt? Whoa. And so the lead. New legal screen. Jordan Bell as they knock Reeves down. Nice play. On a nice retreat. Prevents the layup without committing the foul by Dwight. That's something you don't see that often. But just flat missed that one. Lakers will be flying home right after the game tonight. Kendrick Nunn, pull up, left siding uphill. Stolen away. Reeves behind his back. Reeves gets it knocked away. Yes. He did not just lose it. Got a hand. In the last game, that Reeves just has a, a, a mind for the game. He understands the game. And that time, he, he knew what that the offense comes up with the steal. Nice play. Lakers last led 29-28 in the second quarter. Nunn blocked. Saved by nine. Not going to get it. And it's taken by Golden State. Lakers trail by as many as 22. Moody! That's the rookie. Moses Moody. THT trying to answer back the scoop. He doesn't get the score, but he'll go to the line and shoot two. Get the blocking foul on Jordan Bell. It's six, or up to six. By the way, Moody at the other end, he was second to Kaminga in the points period, average 15 points and five rebounds when he was at Arkansas. The team coached by former Golden State coach Eric Musk's team with two free throws and under two minutes to play. And if you need last-minute tickets to a game this week, you can do place for the Lakers. For every Laker game, make sure to check out Ticketmaster.com for all your ticket needs. And rest assured, these tickets are off there. You get tickets for the upcoming preseason games or perhaps even opening night. Dwight was in there trying to knock it free. It's a five. All the way. That could do it. That might do it. Seven point game, minute and a half. There's still a lot of time left for Lakers to get a defensive breakdown. And uncontested dunk to put the lead to seven. As they continue to fight, as you mentioned, time running out. There's the Lakers trail by seven, minute 34 to play. Uh, this trip down for the Lakers will determine whether this one is really over or not. They've got a scratch on this possession, and then they still have an opportunity. Come up dry here, and it's not going to look good. Yeah, that's uh, like I said could have been it but as you mentioned plenty of time only a couple of possessions especially when you play matador defense like that and they let him through and he scores tht 117 112 Horton tucker 17 points all in the second half around a pit on its way rebound Arajan. so the lakers breathing down five, minute eight. Reeves tries another triple. Oh, they're really wrestling down low, and the foul's going to be called on Moody. He got tangled up with Dwight. <laughs> Giving up a little bit of size there, Moody. Not a bad play, though, by the Warriors because you play the percentages. That sends Dwight to the line for two. He gets fouled on the uh, rebound attempt. Look at that. <laughs> He was trying to block him. It was like it was a running play. It was, it's a total running play. We're going straight up the gut with this one. Dwight is five out of nine tonight. 
Crowd pretty boisterous right now. Dwight silences him for the time being, except for those Laker faithful. Still a minute and four left here in this encounter. Dwight checks in with his 22nd point. Reeves has nine points in 15 minutes to go along with two rebounds. And Frank has let this squad out there. Hey, they're to get it done. Yeah, they they yeah. brought him back. They fought back. Let's finish it. That's right. Under a minute. It's a one possession game. Not anymore. That's what Galloway does. Been in the league a while that's to shoot the, threes. That's what the three point shot does. Also. <laughs> Out of bounds. Turnover. Lakers. That time, uh, and, uh, Rondo was anticipating none dropping to the level of the ball, and he didn't. The pass went out of bounds. 26 turnovers tonight for the Lakers. Contributing 31 points for Golden State. Ooh. And foul going to be on top with Reeves. Lakers staring 0-3 right in the face right now. And uh, Golden State will... Moved to 3 0, it appears, in this preseason. They've got two more games left. By the way, their first week, Golden State. They uh, play at the Lakers and home against the Clippers and then at Sacramento, the Steve Kerr's team. Well, they did a, actually a hack a bell. I thought they would have. Hack that, uh, a bell. <laughs> okay. The, the, the possession before, before Galloway made the triple. Yeah, all right. That was uh, the time to maybe use that strategy. But as it turns out, Bell says, I don't care when you do it, I'm knocking down free throws. Well, you, I would say it's not a large sample size for Jordan Bell last year. Played six games, shot two free throws. Made okay. one. Made one. Shot two. Shot, made one. Shot what did he do right two. here? Shot two, made one. We are who we are. <laughs> <laughs> Offensive foul. Wow. And now this game is over. 121-114. Lakers will not foul. Warriors will not shoot. And again, early on, it was really a show. Curry and Poole, but not what you would expect. Again, Steph did not shoot the three ball well tonight. Did most of his damage uh, from inside the arc. And uh, stick around because we're going to hear from uh, the Lakers in the postgame show. Here with Frank Lightning. Did not like it. Get ready for Phoenix. They won't shoot it. I thought he might put it up, Moody. Instead, they. At you. And this game is over. We'll see the Warriors again next week at Staples Center. And again, these two teams will uh, get primed for opening night as Frank and Steve. Have a laugh, and why not? It's the exhibition season. Optimism reigns supreme with everyone. Final here tonight at Chase Center. 121 to 114. That'll do it from the city by the bank. Make sure to catch our next television.